Hey, all Lloyd here. I have a Raspberry Pi and I'm just getting sick and tired of entering the password every time I log into it. And I don't know if you face this issue with remote servers or development servers or anything that you've had, um, but there's an easy way to add a SSH key so you log in and you don't have to enter in your password every time. So let me show you how to do it. If I go to my home directory and I go to the SSH folder, I will see some keys. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these keys and recreate them. Typically, you can use your IDRSA. This is the default um, key. This is the private key. It has no extension, and then the public key has an extension. I won't cat my private key since this is the internet, but I will concatenate my public key and just show you what they look like. It's just a big long, it says SSHRSA, and it's a big long key, followed by a username at whatever host you're at. So let's go ahead and make a key. I do SSH key gen TRSA. This will make an RSA key and it's going to ask you for the name. So I'm going to do Raspberry Pi at RSA. And make sure you enter in a passphrase. You're going to run into trouble if you don't. Sometimes sometimes it, um, you'll get some strange errors. So this is the key image that it created. The RSA default is going to be 2048 um, bit long key. So let me show you what we have now. We have made a Pi RSA key. Now there's one thing, a little trick for Max that you should do, which is going to be SSH add key and Pi RSA. So this is going to add it to the Mac keychain. And I now have it in my Mac keychain, so I can actually look at it here. I just added it. It's 9.18 p.m. today at 9.18 p.m., so I have this key, this private key that is stored in my keychain, so it's going to go ahead and enter it, which is pretty nice. So let's show the actual problem. When I SSH here, it's going to ask me for my password. And I don't want to enter in this password anymore. I want to use my public and private keys for this to bypass. So if I go to the SSH folder of my addictive hummus Raspberry Pi, I look here and I, I have some keys that it generated, um, but I have no known hosts file. And that's gonna be where we transfer our public key. So what I need to do is I need to move this public key onto the Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm going to show you the command line way to do it. There are some easier ways um, that I'll post below to make this uh, you know, easier in one command, but let's just go for the slow way. So I'm going to cat um, this file and then I'm going to SSH um, to my Pi. And I already have the SSH directory, but I could do you know, something like this, which you may not have that directory, so it wouldn't be able to concatenate, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go right into concatting my, um, this file into known, or sorry, authorized keys. Can't type keys. So you can see now this, um, this command. I'm going to concatenate my public key. I'm going to SSH, pipe that into an SSH into the Raspberry Pi, and it's going to go into the authorized um, keys file. So I enter my password. Now, I am in without a password. Pretty nice. Pretty easy and saves a lot of hassle and headache in the future if you're going back and forth between your, um, your local computer and your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching.